Welcome back to Biomedical Engineers TV. This is a continuation video of ventilator modes and their definitions. I suggest you, if you are watching this video for the first time, please begin with the part one of this series so you can understand ventilators in a better manner and in a simplified way. Let's begin this video with spontaneous assisted ventilation. During the spontaneous ventilation modes, the patient carries out the majority of the breathing effort. The pressure level PEEP at which spontaneous breathing takes place can be adjusted. In all spontaneous ventilation modes, the spontaneous breaths can be supported mechanically. To suit the respective lung mechanics, the speed of the pressure increase for pressure support and volume support can be defined using the slope or flow adjustment. Both adjustments, slope and flow, thus define the duration of the pressure increase from the lower to the higher pressure level. With a slope adjustment, the time is set in seconds. With a flow adjustment, the gas flow is set in liters per minute. This setting directly affects the flow and thus the supplied tidal volume. Let's see the spontaneous, continuous positive airway pressure, pressure support. In the spontaneous, continuous pressure airway pressure, the patient breathes at the PEEP level. Compared to the atmospheric pressure, the airway pressure is increased during the complete breathing cycle, that is during inspiration and expiration. If the patient is too weak to manage the complete breathing effort independently, there is the option of pressure support. Every detected inspiration attempt at PEEP level triggers a patient-triggered, flow-cycled, pressure-supported mandatory breath. The point of time, the number and duration of the pressure-supported breaths are determined by the patient. If the lung mechanics of the patient change, the applied volume varies with fixed pressure support. Next assisted ventilation mode is variable pressure support. Variable PS is a form of pressure support in spontaneous CPAP pressure support. The basic principle for pressure supported spontaneous breathing remains fully intact and is not modified. When activating variable pressure support, different pressure support levels are applied for each breath. First, the pressure support delta pressure support is set. The level of variation is defined by the adjuster, variable pressure. The adjustment is made in percent of the set pressure support, pressure support. The variation variable pressure can be modified within a range of 0 to 100%. Due to the variation of the pressure support, different ventilation pressures and therefore breathing volumes result for each breath. The level of the ventilation pressure is independent of the patient's breathing effort. Another ventilation mode is spontaneous continuous positive airway pressure volume support. In spontaneous continuous positive airway pressure volume support, the patient breathes at the PEEP level. Compared to the atmospheric pressure, the airway pressure is increased during the complete breathing cycle that is during inspiration and expiration. If the patient is still too weak to manage the complete breathing effort independently, a volume support can be added. Here, a targeted breathing volume is set and the necessary pressure for it applied. Every detected inspiration attempt at PEEP level triggers a pressure-supported, flow-cycled ventilation breath. If the lung mechanics change, the applied pressure varies to keep the set tidal volume constant. To prevent too high pressures, it is absolutely necessary to set the alarm limit high pressure. Let's move on to the spontaneous proportional pressure support ventilation mode. In spontaneous proportional pressure support ventilation mode, a patient-triggered flow cycled pressure support is applied proportionally to the inspiration effort of the patient that is a low breathing effort is only supported mildly whereas stronger breathing effort triggers a larger support. The absolute level of the support depends both on the configuration of the parameters flow assist and volume assist 
and the patient. The two types of pressure support, Volume Proportional Pressure Support Volume Assist and Flow Proportional Pressure Support Flow Assist can be used in combination. With Volume Assist, the elastic resistance can be compensated, whereas Flow Assist helps overcoming the airway resistance. This was the spontaneous ventilation mode. Let's move on to the neonatal ventilation modes. Let's begin with neonatal spontaneous continuous positive airway pressure. In neonatal spontaneous continuous positive airway pressure, the patient breathes at the PEEP level. Compared to the atmospheric pressure, the airway pressure is increased during the complete breathing cycle that is during inspiration and expiration. The user can apply mandatory breaths by pressing a button. The constant pressure level of these mandatory breaths is set with an inspiratory mandatory pressure. Inspiratory mandatory time defines the duration of the mandatory breaths. Next neonatal ventilation mode is neonatal pressure control, high frequency oscillation. In neonatal pressure control, high frequency oscillation, the patient is given small, very fast mandatory strokes at the level of the average pressure, so-called high frequency pressure oscillations. The applied breathing volumes are within the magnitude of the dead space volume and permit a gas exchange in the lung in spite of the low volumes. Whilst considerable pressure amplitudes can occur in the host system, the pressure fluctuations in the lungs are rather minor and oscillate closely around the average pressure. The average pressure around which the oscillations occur is defined by high frequency mean airway pressure. The pressure amplitude is defined directly via the adjustment high frequency amplified high frequency. Amplified high frequency is the difference between the maximum and minimum pressure of the oscillation. The frequency of the oscillations per second is set with FHF. Depending on the frequency FHF, different I to E ratios are available for selection. Spontaneous breathing of the patient is possible at any time in pressure control HFO. Let's move on to pressure control, mandatory minute volume mode in neonatal. The patient can always breathe spontaneously at PEEP level. If the spontaneous breathing of the patient is insufficient to achieve the set minute volume, machine-triggered time-cycled mandatory breaths are applied. These mandatory breaths are synchronized with the patient's own breathing attempts. The set breathing frequency is therefore the maximum number of mandatory breaths. During spontaneous breathing at PEEP level, the patient can be pressure supported. As we conclude this ventilation mode and definitions episode, all these modes are available with different manufacture, with different terminology, only engineers to understand how the setting changes the ventilation patterns. I hope I kept it simple for you to understand ventilation mode. Next video, we will cover ventilator external attachments and these applications. Keep watching Biomedical Engineers TV. See you guys in the next video.